Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalisa and this is Homemade Sunshine. So we're kicking it back to a video I used to do back when I first started YouTube, but I haven't done it in a while, but I decided to make an Outfits of the Week video because I am very pregnant, as you can see. Very big and pregnant at this point, and I thought it'd be fun for me to look back on, but also give some of my advice, especially if you are heading into your third trimester this summer. Maybe you're delivering like September, October, and you're gonna be pregnant visibly in the really hot months. Um, just some advice, some products that I really like that I picked up to wear during my pregnancy and just little tips and things like that. So, um, we'll be just sharing all of my outfits this week as I wear them. Okay, so here is the first outfit. This is a beautiful 100% linen dress from Cynthia Rowley. If you can find oversized linen pieces for your pregnancy this summer, I would highly recommend them. It is a beautiful dress. If you've watched my thrifted videos, you'll see that I thrifted this recently for 50 cents. It's a good long length. It's very flowy, has a nice high neckline, and it's very comfortable. I'm also wearing some Clark's sandals. I got on sale at, I believe the store is Hamrick's. They had a sale on them at Mother's Day for $20 a pair, and they are awesome if you've got swollen feet because the tops are adjustable. The ones with the flowers are less adjustable, so if you're pregnant, get the regular ones. But I got those, and I'm so thankful I did. <laughs> and we've been joking between my mom and I because she loves them too. That next, that we're hoping they do this sale every Mother's Day so we can start to get more colors. So, just this beautiful sage green and. And then it's nice and cooling when you're very hot and pregnant. Here's some of my jewelry. I have just a gold wedding wedding band, not my actual wedding band because it no longer fits being this pregnant. Um, some beautiful beads around through here on a beaded bracelet. I got these, oh, I got this when a store went out of business in my town. And these I got, um, they're two different necklaces, 90% off at a consignment store sale. And then these little gold butterflies my mom picked up for me at a yard sale herself. So that is my first outfit of the day. Also, I forgot to add, I normally share what I am doing each day in these outfits. So today was a very casual day, but I did have an OBGYN appointment, which is why I really wanted to feel super nice and dressed up all went well so that is very good news and we are just waiting for this baby to come but this is the kind of dress that you can wear and it's very casual it feels very comfortable but you feel very elegant and sophisticated in it so that's hard to feel when you're you know gigantically pregnant so I have really loved this dress all right y'all so here's day two's outfit I am wearing a swing dress which for maternity if you're pregnant this summer is like the best thing you can wear I'll take the cardigan off so you can see um, this one is navy blue with polka dots I'll give you a little spin here it's great has a very high neckline which is nice it's a good length even being very pregnant it still is a good modest um, length so I highly recommend these dresses. You can usually get them secondhand relatively inexpensively, like on eBay or Poshmark if you don't find them thrifting in your area. But I've been living in these like swing style dresses. So Old Navy is one brand that you can pick up. And it's just easy, breezy, comfortable because it is super hot here. And this cardigan is also very pretty. I'll show you the knit close up. It's just very pretty. I like to have something to cover my shoulders. Sometimes the mornings are a little cooler and I like also having it for when you go in somewhere that can be kind of chilly. You just never know the temperature of these places. So I'm wearing my Clarks again today because that's one of the only shoes that fit. Also wearing these earrings are from Spartina and I got those as a gift. And this is a Swarovski necklace. It has a little swan. I got this years ago, like as a teenager at a consignment store clearance for like pennies on the dollar very very inexpensively so that is super awesome so what have I done in this outfit today I'm filming this at the end of the day and I went out to go well I was gonna go on a walk I ended up going to a yard sale 
and never got to go on my walk because I got a nail in my tire. So I went to go get my tire fixed, which is why I was glad that I was dressed to walk in something very presentable and pretty. And none of my tennis shoes fit right now. So I've been walking in my Clarks, which is fine. But it was nice that I was not in something really grubby to be able to go to the tire place. My tire got fixed, all was well. My tire didn't go flat, um, praise the Lord. So that was awesome. And I always keep a Milwaukee Tools um, is the brand. Um, what do you call it? Um, an air compressor that you can fill your tire up with. Huge blessing, I highly recommend those. They are not inexpensive, but it has saved me so many times when my tire has started leaking for whatever reason over the years. And I went to our, um, to a local store to get some, um, it's a place that we like to go, prefer to go get like local milk and meat and cheese and stuff. And then I went to another really small local grocery store that we have here and to pick up some like local um, essentials. Like I really like the local milk that we have here. So I went and picked that up there. So a very nice, easy breezy outfit for a super hot day. You can see the sun and that is my outfit for day two. Hey y'all, so here is Friday's outfit. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and point it out. I spilled water on myself during dinner just now. So that's why I have a wet spot on this dress. It's significantly less noticeable in person, but it's very noticeable on camera. But um, this is my outfit for today. This is First off is just a really ancient old Target cardigan. I love these short sleeve cardigans for going inside places when it's really cold. Like I went to the grocery store today and it was of course freezing as usual. So I wear that to cover my shoulders and be a little bit warmer for jewelry. I'm just wearing that gold wedding band again. This is a Swarovski flower necklace I got from the same consignment store that I got that swan from like a million years ago. And I'm wearing some Pandora flower earrings, which I also got a thousand years ago. One of my mom's friends used to work there. So whenever they'd have a super huge sale, we would find out and get stuff, but she doesn't work there anymore. So we're glad we bought what we did when we did, but I'm also in my son's room because it's like 90 degrees outside and it's too hot for me to be out there. So at this large being pregnant, but this dress is super awesome. I will do a pan down shot so you can see the bottom. It's similar to the old navy swing dress that I wore earlier, the polka dot one, but this dress is super nice because it does have pockets, which is very nice always. And these are only $10 and you can get these in store right now. I bought this one at the beginning of the season and I have lived in these dresses if you're pregnant or not pregnant, but especially if you're pregnant, this is an awesome dress to wear. It's very comfortable, very cool and not super hot and it's affordable, so wins all the way around, and tons of different colors, any kind of color you can imagine, and yeah, I love them, and they're very inexpensive. So, today was a busy out of the house day. I went to the grocery store, went to a thrift store, got some really great stuff, and where else? I took some, um, old books, movies, and video games. The movies and video games were from my um, in-laws, they were bringing some of my husband's old things over. They slowly will bring us stuff out of his childhood bedroom to get rid of. So I went and traded those in at a used book type place um, for a store credit. So I did that today and yeah, so it was a really good day. Very busy, very tiring, but all in all, it was a very good day. And if you know, if you watch my Kroger grocery haul videos, um, that takes a lot of time and energy when you're doing discount clearance grocery shopping. So I'll pan down and show you the bottom of this outfit. Okay, so here you can see the length. It's just knee length. Now you can't see my face anymore, but you can see it's just a good modest length, high neckline. It's not overly clingy, um, which I appreciate. So it's very pretty, very comfy, practical, easy to move in, very easy to launder. So, and this is just my outfit for Friday. All right, y'all, so today is Saturday, a very casual outfit for today and still pregnant, still very pregnant, but it is super hot. If I was going out, I would not be wearing this cardigan, but I've been home today and we also deep cleaned our freezer. 
so I had to have another layer on because that was very chilly but this is my outfit for the day I'll take off the cardigan so you can see but this cardigan is gorgeous I got this forever ago at a consignment store clearance sale which I love those you hear me talk about those a lot and it's just the ram fever so a couple of maternity wear tips here are first this tank top is from j jill and j jill makes a lot of really good tops that are not maternity technically but could be used as maternity a lot of their tops long sleeves blouses sweaters um are longer length so the bottom of my belly is right here and you can see i can easily like move my arms and my shirt doesn't expose my belly or anything like that and it's nice it's sleeveless because it is 90 degrees today so i've actually had this tank top for a very long time and i love it um, i've had it for years and then this is paired with a active sport it's an active wear fabric and it has shorts underneath it's i forget the name of the brand i will insert it here i think it's karen scott and if i'm wrong i will insert the name i've had this for a long time and Normally I wear it like higher up when I'm not pregnant, but for now I just wear it under the bump and it is very comfortable, very lightweight. The shorts underneath are not super tight, even being pregnant, like they are, you know how sometimes they're like almost like a compression short underneath of a skirt. Well, these are just like a loose pair of shorts underneath the skirt. So it's very comfortable, very easy to move around. And this is not maternity. This brand is sold on QVC and if you are pregnant, you can get them a lot of times relatively inexpensive on secondhand sites like eBay or Poshmark. I have this one in navy and I have a polka dot one, which the polka dot one, unfortunately, I can't wear pregnant because it's high waisted, but this one I can wear because it's more of a natural waist or a lower waisted skirt, um, or you can wear it up higher. Just depends. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing my same butterfly earrings again and just my gold band. I didn't want to have a lot of jewelry on today because I was just doing more around the house cleaning and it's super hot and Saturday is usually when I go yard sailing but we didn't really have many yard sales today and I was also just kind of tired and since I didn't see any advertised I was like eh, I don't feel like driving around to just see if there's anything so this is my outfit of the day very comfy very casual and easy to move around in I would also wear this to go walking this would be a great walking outfit as it's nice and comfortable and you don't have to always buy new workout wear in pregnancy at the end you know when things aren't fitting this is something that I could still go walk in and get my exercise and I would feel perfectly good about that so that is it for my Saturday outfit. all right y'all so here's my next outfit of the day this is a maternity dress from Target that I got this spring this is actually the dress that I wore for my baby shower and the only thing that I bought brand new from the store at all was this dress for a baby shower it's beautiful I've gotten lots of compliments on it I love the colors it's very vibrant and it's just 100% cotton it has these nice little sleeves here and it has this pretty smocking here which now my belly is so big that you can't really see it but this looks beautiful today is a Tuesday and my husband and I went out and did some things because he had the day off and just we went out to lunch we had our last we said nice lunch out before the baby probably comes so we got to enjoy that today and i forgot to film sunday and monday well not forgot sunday i was sick did not feel well at all so i was not going to film and then monday i totally forgot because i was so sick on monday or on sunday <laughs> i was so sick sunday that i forgot to film monday so we'll still do seven days we're just missing two of them we'll just move into the rest of the week so this is my outfit of the day and i'll just film a close-up on my jewelry here so you can s i'll just film a close-up here on my jewelry so you can see i have these pretty little pearl earrings on i'm wearing just my replacement stack since my um wedding ring does not fit and i just have a pretty little if i can show it um gold cross which was a gift the earrings were thrifted and then these were from a really inexpensive pandora sale so that's my jewelry for today. <clears throat> All 
All right, y'all, so here's my next outfit of the day. I've got another one of my Walmart Time and True dresses. When I said I had these like in a million colors, I do. I have pink, light purple, a teal that I only just recently got at a thrift store, um, a striped, and navy. I'm trying to think, I think that's the five colors I have. I have another Walmart dress that's black, but it's not the same cut exactly as this. And, but it also works for maternity quite well. And just saying y'all, this is great. So two of my tips here for dressing for maternity this summer is one, you're probably gonna wear the same thing over and over a lot. And if you find something that fits, buy it in multiple colors that you like, especially like something like this. Like I just, I love the fit. It's very comfortable, something you can wear heavily pregnant and still look presentable and nice, but not break the bank and have to spend a whole ton of money. So it'd be good to watch maybe some videos from like Jennifer L. Scott, who does the Daily Connoisseur, and she does a 10 item wardrobe. I feel like that's a great idea for pregnancy if you're starting from scratch and trying to figure out what you need to fit into each season. But I love these dresses. I've worn them a ton. So, you know, it's not the most original. And then I just have this little cardigan on, which is just, I wore this today because we went in toward um, the hospital with labor and delivery. And I was worried it might be chilly. So I wore this and plus it's air conditioned inside. So sometimes I get chilly, but I love these nice loose cardigans. Or if you find any kimonos, those are also super great. Um, I've enjoyed wearing some of those as well. So both just I think I bought this full price at Walmart and this was this a thrifted cardigan just wearing a little Pandora ring on this hand and two Pandora rings on that hand since I can't wear my wedding dress or not my wedding dress my wedding rings um this is that Swarovski um flower that I think I wore the other day and just some of my diamond studs that were passed down to me and the flower was from a consignment store sale I've also just been wearing my Clarks and I love them. Like I said earlier in the video, I love them. I hope I can get more next year at the Mother's Day sale. So that is it for my outfit for today. My big part of the day was just going to the um, hospital to tour and make sure we knew where we were going and all of that sort of thing. So this is my outfit for the day. I thought I'd throw in just some still pictures um, here at the end of some different outfits that I have worn throughout the third trimester and some of these pieces you'll recognize from the video that I just rewore and styled in different ways just to try to you know make some different looks without having to buy a whole ton of new clothing so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing I share new videos every week and if you enjoyed this video Maybe we'll do one on dressing for a postpartum. Until next time.